My name is Jacqueline Humble and today I'm going to be reviewing the Amazon Prime wardrobe option um, that is available to Prime members on Amazon. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be, I'm going to be talking about Amazon Prime wardrobe. So if you've never heard of it, it's available to Prime members on Amazon and basically you get to pick eight items of clothing, shoes, accessories, dresses, pants, shirts, whatever, and have it delivered to your house for a seven day try on period. Um, and then you return anything that you don't want to keep at the end of that time in a pre-packed, like in the same box that it came in, but it comes with a label. So it's really easy. It's, it's a great way to try and clothes that you don't necessarily want to keep. Sorry if you hear dogs barking in the background. That is my life. That is a humble herd. I have three dogs and one cat. So kind of a little crazy around here. So it's kind of Amazon's shot at Stitch Fix or any sort of subscription box, the rent, the runway. Obviously, you shouldn't wear the pieces if you don't intend on keeping them, just like you want to return something that you already wore to Nordstrom or any other online retailer. So I'm going to show you what I got in my box, and I picked out all the items, and I think this is what makes this service so different from Stitch Fix or those other kind of boxes is that you can pick out the items that you're looking for. Um, you can only have one box out at a time, so I can't order another one while this one's at my house. I have to ship this one back. Um, I don't know if there's a processing time because I haven't done that yet. Like I said, this is my first box. So uh, here it is. So this is what it came in. It says Prime Wardrobe, and it was kind of a pretty big box. I did eight items which filled up my box all the way. My German Shepherd walking around. If you hear someone walking, we got lots of little pots. All right, Jan, move. Ah! Okay, so my first item was this shirt, actually, and it's a French Connection shirt. You can see the pleating down here. It's really cute. I'm definitely keeping this. Obviously, I'm wearing it. Um, and I love this shirt. I love the two patterns. It's pretty flattering and it's very comfortable, breathable. I like the cuffs. So this is French Connection and I think this came in under $90 ish. Um, it's interesting with Prime Wardrobe because I might have clicked an item, like I think this shirt, it said it was $68. And I thought, oh wow, that's a great brand. It looks pretty. It's my color scheme that I, all my clothes are in. I love blue and white. Um, but then when I looked at the sizing, my size was actually more towards $90 versus 70. So you have to be careful about that when you're looking to buy. And sometimes not all your, or not buy, but put in your box. And sometimes not all the sizes are actually available. So this is my first item I'm definitely keeping. I'm obsessed with it. Okay. I got a lot of shoes this time too. So these shoes are Sam Edelman. And I don't know the prices on all these, but I'm, maybe I'll have them like floating or something on my screen, what the price was. So these shoes were really beautiful. Kind of reminded me of like Gucci loafers. I actually don't own any loafers. Um, as you can see right there, it has the like fake kind of Gucci um, bridle and they're calf hair, if you can't tell. They're really beautiful, I love these. But I realized that I just got a nice pair of like leopard cheetah print flats for Christmas. So I actually don't need these. I would like these in a different pattern versus the calf hair that I already have, like this exact shoe in. So I will be returning these. They fit great, true to size. I'm an eight and a half and it worked. Um, would recommend these for your box though, if you do not have a animal print flat. Here is a beautiful jacket that I got. So this one is by BB Dakota, which is a brand that we used to buy at the boutique when I worked at a boutique through college. I love this brand. They make great outerwear. I will not be keeping this jacket. Um, I thought it was kind of cute, but it just kind of looks like I'm wearing a blanket and I think it makes me look larger than I am, which is not something that I want right now. So I won't be keeping it. Um, it is very soft. It's very well made. Like I said, it's from a brand that I trust. And that's something that I really kind of shopped based on brand versus just on the items that they were showing me. And that's how I feel like I really catered the box towards my taste versus just whatever there is on Amazon wardrobe. And not every brand on Amazon, my camera's kind of crooked. Um, not every brand on Amazon is 
available through Amazon wardrobe. So definitely pay attention to that. So this jacket will not be keeping, but it is pretty cute. Um, it's just a little bit too oversized. In my opinion. I was gonna say, okay. I didn't remember getting more than one French Connection shirt. I actually forgot about this shirt. So this shirt was also French Connection. Um, as you can see, it's blue and white, which is my favorite. Um, but this part was just a little bit too see-through. And so I didn't want to keep it because it was a little staticky. This was like a nice kind of knit material, but it was just too staticky. And also the see-through part where my pants line is going to be already. I don't like wearing undershirts. Um, so this was a no. Let me see what the price on this was. It doesn't say, but I'll make it floating on this side again. So this was cute, but a no. Well made though. Just to see through. This one was another outerwear piece. Again, I think this was Booby Dakota. Yes, again, this is Booby Dakota. And this was cute, but I'm not keeping it either. Um, this is a little suede jacket. And I really like the way that it looks in the front. This under part is not suede, which is nice because I feel like it has a lot of stretch that maybe the suede wouldn't. Um, very comfortable, you can see it hangs down. The one thing that I did not like really, and the reason why I'm not keeping this, I do have something kind of similar, which is funny. I feel like I was shopping for things that I already have in my closet, which I won't do next time. Um, but is this, can you see this little tie part? Kind of made it look a little bit Western to me. And that's not my vibe. I like pretty classic things. And that just, I saw it online, but I thought, well, I don't know. Maybe I could take it off. Like, I'm not sure, but it's all laced. I'll show you um, in the back. So you can see like has holes and it's like laced. Um, it's just a little too Western, not my vibe, but it is very soft and would be cute if it's your vibe. Another shirt that I got was this one, and this is a J. Crew Mercantile, and it is a sweater, and it has little dogs on it and like French Bulldogs, which is why I got it, because I have a Frenchie, but they were weird looking in person. Also, this is more kitschy than I usually do. Like I said, I like classic things. I think I ordered this pretty close to Valentine's Day. I will not be keeping this sweater, but it was fun. It fit fine. Another shoe that I got, which I actually loved, but the fit wasn't quite right, were these, and they were Steve Madden, but it was Steven by Steve Madden, so it's a little bit more inexpensive. These kind of remind me of like a Chanel ballet flat with the two-tone. There's maybe suede, not really suede, like a soft leather. Um, the heel was what drew me to them. I love block heels. It was a good height, but my... The back of my foot just kind of hung off too much. And sometimes with pointy toed shoes, that can happen. That's like paper that's in there. Um, but the fit just wasn't great. These are really cute. Maybe size up half a size or um, if you have long toes, maybe it would work for you. But it just was a little bit too small, which is weird because usually I'm like between an eight and an eight and a half. And these were definitely eight and a half. So, made in Brazil. All right, but anyway, this is another example of me shopping brands that I know and trust. So, but that one didn't work out for me, obviously, since the sizing was wrong. Okay, my last piece that I'm going to keep were these Cole Haan shoes. My sister introduced me to Cole Haan women's shoes. I've just known them as a male brand before. She introduced these to me for the flats because she wears them around the hospital. Um, and so she's training to be a surgeon. And she wears them around the hospital all day long. And so here are the shoes. They're really cute. They are um, black, as you can see. And they have a bow on them. Kind of remind me very Kate Spade-esque, but not nearly the prices price of Kate Spade. I think these are like 120 maybe, which is pretty good for nice leather, real lying leather and may made. Yeah, real leather shoes. Um, so the bottom of them are kind of like 
very textured kind of basket weave, which is good because I've had a few shoes that I've actually fallen downstairs and on our hardwoods um, recently. So I need that. This is a great heel length. I think it was three and a half, which is my favorite high heel length. And I need a good pair of black leather shoes. And of course, with the bow, it's just very me. And I'm really happy that I got these. So I will be keeping these and I will be keeping this shirt. It gives you a little sticker in here with your shipping, as you can see. Okay, good. That doesn't have my address on it. Just wanted to make sure. Um, and how it works, you try everything on, complete your returns, and then just put them in the box and drop them off at UPS and it's paid for. And then you can order a new one. So I intend to kind of try to shop like this uh, pretty often. I don't know if I'll do it monthly. If you want me to keep reviewing the items that I got, I will post them on here because this review is pretty easy to make. Um, just leave a comment below and let me know. And if you used Amazon wardrobe before, Prime wardrobe, and had a good, bad experience, anything like that, let me know because I just want to know other people's experiences too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed shopping through Amazon Prime wardrobe because it comes pretty fast. It's not two-day shipping. When you hear Prime, you think two-day shipping. It was more like three or four days. I think it says like three to seven, but mine got here pretty fast. So I would say they don't say prime shipping, but it was pretty much prime shipping. And the only critique that I have is that I wish more brands were a part of it. So I'm sure Amazon will just keep building on this. The service is relatively new. I don't even know if it's a year old yet. I've seen it for a little while, but this is my first time trying it. So I hope to see more brands and I'm in love with my two items that I will be keeping. I feel like they will be closet wardrobe staples. So that's really exciting for me. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna follow me off YouTube, you can find me on Instagram at Jacqueline Humble and it's spelled humble like the virtue. I'll put it down here and can't wait to talk to you over there. Have a great day, bye.